All right, so quick as I can, let's make a pre-fold out of a flower sack towel. Now I start with brand new flower sack towels from Sam's Club. The Sam's Club flower sack towels are actually rectangular instead of square. And so I like to use that little excess up at the top for a little bit of extra pad folding for my son. Let me show you what a square flower sack towel looks like. Let's get this. Let's see if I can get this lined up here. And then a rectangular one might actually go off the table a little bit. Put it up on top of there. And so we've got a lot of extra here. Hope you can see that. Now, the reason that I start off with a brand new flower sack towel is because it's not shrunk up yet. If you start with one that has been washed and dried, what you're gonna find is this little bit of scrunching on the edges. If you've already washed and dried your flower sack towels, just go ahead and iron them. Uh, another option for you, if you don't have an iron, is to go ahead and get them wet again or wash them again and lay them flat to dry. If you choose to line dry them, don't hang them by the corners or the tops. If you hang them by the corners, they'll actually stretch. So you'll end up with it long up here and it'll valley and then it'll be long up here. And so they'll stretch funny and it'll be really hard to sew. So the best thing to do is to just start with brand new ones. That way they haven't shrunk yet. And um, when you get them all sewn up, then they will start doing this nice little scrunching thing. This one here I made before it was washed and it's nice and soft. It scrunched up real good. It's very flexible. The reason that I make it in this shape over here, open like this, is because if you sew it in this shape, it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. Um, and by a lot longer to dry, I mean like put it back in the dryer because it's not done yet. Um, so you really don't wanna do that. Notice that this shape here is a lot more folds. So if you're doing laundry and folding your flower sack towel up, you've got to fold it up this way, down this way, over, and then over again. And if you go ahead and sew it in this shape, all you've got to do is try fold and you're done. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I do is I'm, so the whole process, the whole process start to finish is fold, sew, fold, sew, fold, sew. So you make your first fold and I'm gonna do it just about five inches or so from the top. Make your first fold. And if you want to, go ahead and mark that. Okay, let me find my marker. Just right along this edge here. That'll help you keep straight when you got it in the sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this backwards instead of folding it down. The reason I do that is so that I can see all the layers while I'm sewing. So let's get it in the sewing machine. So right along that edge that we just created. Put the edge of the fabric right on the line that you just drew and put the fold on the line that you just drew. And 
because this shrinks up kind of unevenly after it's washed, you don't really have to be too precise with your sewing. So I don't measure. I just kind of you know, wing it. If you're making this to sell, by all means, measure it, make it straight. If it's for your own son or daughter, it catches poop. It doesn't have to be perfect. sewing machine's trying to make things curl just a little. Okay, now we've got our fold we sewed it, and then we have this flap. So the next thing is to sew this flap down. Because if you go ahead and fold it again, and sew around the outside, this flap here will get bunched up in the inside. So we need to sew it down. I'm sure everyone watching can probably sew straighter than me. But I'm not too worried about this because it is just an insert. that and it really won't matter once the fabric is shrunk and doing its squirrely thing. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. Looking at one end and sewing the other end. Go ahead and cut this tag off. Alright, so now I'm going to fold it in half. Let's show you what that looks like. Now you'll have the side that the flap was just sewn down. Let's hide that. So tuck it in and make sure it's on the inside of the fold. So then what you've got is you can see this strip here and everything else is tucked inside. So let's sew around the outside of this entire thing. I'm playing with different angles on the camera here. Maybe you can see better with this angle. Get everything all lined up. I like to stop a few stitches from the end, turn, again, turn.
Now here I have a goal to sort of make the two ends meet. So I'm going to go ahead and make them make them meet at the end here, and I'm just going to hold them with one hand. Um, they just stretch at different rates. Cuttons, well, c uh, flower sack towels in particular are very squirrely. And so they may stretch funny. All right, last little bit here. Now we have four little pieces to line up. These are just the ends. Just line them all up. That part right there will be pretty difficult to do if you've already washed your flower sack towels. Ironing will probably help. Now I've gone all the way around the outside. I'll show you what I do in the center. Now I like to lay everything out. Make sure it's stretched out real good. And go ahead and fold like you're going to try fold it. Make a fold. And draw down this. And then open it back up. Fold on that line you just drew. And draw again. Now we're going to fold or we're going to sew on those two lines. And the reason that we're going to do that is because if you were to wash this just like that, the middle would get very bunchy because there's uh, four layers in there. So we want to make sure that we don't allow them to move around in there. All right, let's just sew on those lines then. Stretch it so that it not only goes straight when you're sewing it, but that when you get to the other end, it's not bunchy. We've used the words bunchy and squirrely a lot in this video. All right. Let's get last little bit. Unless you want to surge it. I'll talk about that in a second. Let's get this done. So our pre-fold is effectively finished. It will not come apart. Um, it will bunch up perfectly in the wash and do its nice little, here's the washed version. So the same pre-fold. Notice that one shrunk quite a bit. Um, so that's what it'll look like after you get it washed. I did exact same process for both of those. Uh, the only difference is that on this one, after I was done, I surged around the outside. This one I probably won't do that with because I actually kind of like the edge of it, the way that looks. So I'll probably just leave it just like that. Cut your threads and throw in the wash.